side brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil tea on table. Made with love by Clover. Olive Pride's blend contains a delicate mix of seed oils and extra virgin oil that delivers a wonderful almond aroma and flavor. Today, it is the quintessential ingredient in a focaccia bread recipe topped with delicious Olive Pride olives. This is a simple and easy recipe, and to try this at home, SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. Clem? This yeah. is one of my favorite things to eat when I am at peace with carbs. And also, when people get it right. Then because, it's beautiful. Yeah, because some people be serving it like rock hard, like a, like a piece of biscuit. <laughs> Dried up. You have and, to have yeah. to get this right. So yeah. in here, I've got some sugar and I've got some yeast. And you can see we fed the yeast because it's all nice and bubbly and you can smell mm, it. I can yeah, smell yeah. it. Good things are about to happen. I then love I've, this dough. I'm loving it. It looks so fluffy. It is, absolutely. So we're going to go in with a little bit of flour. Okay. And then I've got some water there on the side. How long did it take for the yeast to get like that? It actually takes really quick, so it depends on the temperature outside as well. It's quite cold right now, but it still took like 10 minutes to start bubbling and getting okay. that smell going on. Awesome. Olive pride, I love adding olive oil to my doughs. Yeah. It just adds like a nice like sheen to the dough as well. I've never tried lighter. that before. Yeah. I mean, Good I mean, idea. Just like that. I think that's enough. There we go. Okay. A little bit of water because you need that moisture. Mm -hmm. And then very important, salt. So you always want to feed your yeast with sugar. So you right? can mix water and the oil? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And if you want to make it even more tender, add milk. That's a trick as well. Oh. So we're going to go in with the dough, get it all nice together. There's a rule when it comes to bread. The what? wetter, the better. The wetter, right? the better. Yeah, so if, if you have a nice wet dough, it's going to give a better resulting bread. And oh. you're going to get that by not overworking it, over kneading it, not adding too much dry ingredients. So this is going to keep on doing its thing. You'll scrape down the bowl continuously. Scrape down the sides. Exactly, down yeah. the sides. So you make sure you incorporate all the flour before you go and add any extra if you think your dough is wet. Right, okay. then the trick is resting because the yeast is alive, right? We know this. So it has to rest a bit so it can kind of like make its way through the flour, all the ingredients that come thing. alive. Exactly, and you see, you, you, you can see it doing its thing because you can kind of see those little bubbles over there. I That's see. the yeast expand. It's what's happening is the yeast feeds off the sugar, creates carbon dioxide and alcohol, which causes it to puff up. But don't worry about the alcohol that cooks away. So that's fine. Right. I'm not then, worried about the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that cooks away. So you get your basic dough. Okay. And then it sits, doubles in size, and then you punch it down with your fingers, okay? Just like that. You okay. gotta create the space for the ingredients. And the, oh. my extra ingredients, I'm gonna go with some olives. I'm some gonna just olives. use this fork right here. I can use black olives yeah, or green. Absolutely. This is where you go crazy and you add whatever you like. I like keeping them nice and big because it's gonna go to the oven, they're gonna cook. If it's bigger, it's not gonna kind of burn, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it also creates a nice mouthful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then I've got some caramelized onions. Will you do that for me? Caramelized. Caramelized. Okay. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to sprinkle some salt. I love caramelized onions. Oh, it's, it's such a, like a kitchen hack as well. If you want to add something savory to a dish, add caramelized onions. Okay. Just like that. And then... Just spread them all over, huh? Absolutely. And those pockets also help hold the olives and the olive oil and, and the onion. And hold all the flavor. Then it goes into the oven and it comes out looking beautiful like that. And then do you add the sea salt at the end? I like adding it in before it goes into the oven. Mm -hmm. You can taste if you like, if you want more seasoning, add some more at the end, absolutely. Okay, nice. Yeah. That's, that's easy to make focaccia. The wetter the better, don't forget. This looks so delicious. Mm -hmm. so Am easy. I taking this, this pan home to my guests tonight? This one is for tonight. you. That's that one's for you, absolutely. You know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you remember to SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. SMSs do cost one round fifty each and no free SMSs apply. And if you'd like to give this a go, and if you missed it, here's a quick recap of the steps.
Made with love by Clover.